morning everyone. My name is Jerson Abba Maluba and this is Joderek Achenza. For today, we are going to present about region of Cagayan Valley region. In Cagayan Valley region, it has five provinces. And those are Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Quirino. So for all you know guys, that the Cagayan Valley offers a never ending adventure. So of caves, forests, beaches, and century old heritage sites. There are some uh, past facts about the Cagayan Valley. So here is the provinces of the Cagayan Valley as well as the capital, the land areas in hectares, major industries, number of cities, number of towns, and municipalities. As you can see guys, that the Batanes, the capital of Batanes is Pasco. The Cagayan Valley, the Cagayan capital is the Tugigaraw City. And Isabela, Isabela is Ilagan. Neves Vizcaya is Bayumbong. And Quirino is Cabaragwis. So, so most of the provinces in Cagayan Valley, the economy of their region is agriculture. The towns of the Batanes and municipalities has six municipalities. While the Cagayan has 28 municipalities, Isabel has 34 municipalities, Nueva Vizcaya has 15 municipalities, and Carino has 6 municipalities. So the Cagayan Valley Ports of Access. This region has three airports, namely Basco, Tugigarao, and Guayan servicing various airlines to and from Manila by sea. There is access from mainland of Ilocos north to Batanes. An extensive road network via the Pan Philippine Highway is the public buses or private vehicles. So by air, Manila to Basco and vice versa flights are offered daily by both Philippines Airlines and Skyger Airlines. There is Togigarao is serviced daily by Philippine Airlines and Pacific Air Flights. Daily flights from Manila to Hawaii. Isabela is also offered by Cebu Pacific Air. Travel time is approximately hour one hour. A smaller airports or air trips served by the chartered service are in the Palanan and Makunakon, both are coastal towns of Paisi. MBA Batang's Princess offers trips from Kurimao. Bus. I can remember a lot to Tabasco, Batanes, vice versa, only every Wednesday and Sundays. Travel fare is around 1,000 pesos and, and the trip takes about 18 hours. By land, several bus companies offer regular bus and sleeper bus trips from Manila to Tugigarao via Pan Philippine Highways and passing through the other provinces in the region. The average travel time is 12 hours, hence, night trips are recommended. There are also passenger bus lines that flies directly to Tugigarao from both Baguio and 10 hour trip and began 9 hour. How about the getting around? So, getting around, private van and car rentals are available to move around the region as a public modes of transportation. So, how about the attractions and activities? Here are some selected attractions and activi activities in Batanes. The number one is the Mount Chamel Chapel and the D1 Point. How about the Cagayan? The Cagayan Provincial and the Tugigarao Cathedral. Isabela Street, Matias Church, San Pablo Church, and the Bebiscaya People's Museum Library and Street Dominic Cathedral. So how about the natural attractions? In Batanes, the Sabtang Islands and the Itbayat Islands. Well, Cagayan, Sierra Calle, Portabagan Falls, Isabela, Bonsai Forest, Camp Samal, Nueva Vizcaya, Mount Bulag, Mount Ugo, Nagbukal Caves, Mactol Falls. And how about the belt attraction? In Batanes, the Anes de Coffee Shop, the San Jose Church. How about the Cagayan? <laughs> the belt attractions are Bonton Bridge and Carson Co. Well, Isabela, Giant Butaque, Landmark of Heroes. And the uh, Nueva Vizcaya, Provincial Capitals, Street Lourdes Calvary, Municipal Park, and Motorcross Mountain. So, range of accommodation. So, in Batanes, 
the budget less than 1,000 per night, the Martel's Lodge, the Brandon's Lodge, Pueblo Cagayan, Hotel Selena, sa William Blanca Hotel, in Isabella, New Amete Hotel, Golden A Hotel, Nueve Biscaya, 24-7 in and Resort, and AMPM Lodge, Walquerino, Villa Carenda Hotel and Resort, and Capital Plaza Hotel Restaurant. How about the mid-range? 1,500 to 3,500 per night. In Batanes, there are some hotel like Balugan Homelet, Seaside Lodge Restaurant, the Hotel Loreta Taj Hotel, the Isabella Dreamweb Hotel, Austin Bra Hotel, and Nueva Vizcaya Highlanders Hotel, Resort, and Miyako Hotel. How about the high hand? At least 3,000 per night. The Batanes offers this hotel, Pandasyon Pasita, the Cagayan Kugutsaga Riverview Hotel and Resort, Nueva Vizcaya Lower Magat Ecotourism Park. Those are the available hotel in different provinces in Cagayan. So how about the food and delicacies? In Batanes, in Batanes they are famous in Bangon Oyunoyo Lanchubena, Lanchubeya, or Bunos Dried Gabi Stock, Chops, Fish, Beef or Pork, Lataben Roe Fish, Lonye Salted Fried Pork, Lonye Salted Fried Pork, and Chin of Walls or Steams Gabi Leaves. Actually, they are so unfamiliar para sa akin. How about the Cagayan? They are famous in Pansit Batik, Patong Longganisang Tugikaraw, Lunes Tugi, Homemade Milk Candy. How about in Isabela? They are famous in Pansit Kabangan, Binalay Usuman, in Tata Usumang din, Binajin Lobster, Kuracha, Dining Dings, Sinem Siwan, Lechon Carneo, Rabong Corn, and Bibica. And how about the in Nueva Vizcaya? They are famous in Abal Abal, Pati, Kakanin, Pinakbet, Dinigdig, and Palitao. And how about in Quirino? They are famous in Abal Abal, Pati, Kanin, Pinakbet, Dinigdig, and Igado. Here are some famous festival and special events in Cagayan Valley region. The first one in Batanes is the Batan Festival. It was celebrating during June 19 to July 1. Previously, the Batan Festival called as Bayuan Festival. It symbolizes the unique practice in Batan by working for others as one community. Cagayan. In Cagayan, it has three famous festivals. The first one is Agaw na Cagayan Festival. It was celebrated during June 23 to 29. This festival it represents the, the celebration of the province in 1583. The second one is Bayat Sambali Festival. It was celebrated during June 23 to 30. It symbolizes the war dance. Of here, here's some sample features of Bayat Sambali Festival. The third one is Bangkarera Festival. It was celebrated during May. It symbolizes Thanksgiving celebration. How about in Isabela? In Isabela, there are four famous festivals. The first one is Baka Festival. It was celebrated during February 15. It symbolizes honoring their patron Saint Pablo. Some sample pictures of Baka Festival. One is Binale Festival. It was it was celebrated during May. It symbolizes the noodle characteristics they aspire to have as an individual. Nueva Vizcaya. In, in Nueva Vizcaya, there are three famous festivals. First one is Panagyaman Festival. It has celebrated during May 19 to 24. It symbolizes cele celebration of the founding anniversary of the province. Here are some sample pictures of Panagyaman Festival. The second one is Grand Am Amungan Festival. It has celebrated during May. It symbolizes, showcases the convergence, the co 
convergence of indigenous cultures of Nueva Vizcaya. The last one is Cetrus Festival. It has celebrated during August. It symbolizes a Thanksgiving celebration and the bountiful harvest of Cetrus, the town of Casebo. Here are some sample pictures of Cetrus Festival. How about Kirino? Kirino has, has a three famous festivals. The first one is Kirino Motorismo. Kirino Motorismo is one of the special events. It was celebrated during July, July 22 to 24. It symbolizes as the only motorbiking festival in the country. Here are some sample pictures of Kirino Motorismo. The second one is Panagdad. It was celebrated during September 8 to 10. It, it symbolizes the celebration of the founding anniversary of the Pura. Here are some sample pictures of Panagdadapon festivals. The last one is Aquero Festival. It has celebrated during February 11 to 13. It symbolizes <laughs> in honor of the Our Lady of Lourdes. Here are some sample pictures of Aquero festivals. So how about the major cultural groups in Cagayan region? So for all you know guys that the Cagayan region has four major cultural groups. The first one is the Abatat, the Ibanag, Itawis, and Elokanos. The Ibatans are known for their oral traditions such as lyric song, that also called as lagi, working songs which is the Kaluwan and the legends also known as Kapata according to Pirata. How about Ibanag? Ibanag literally means people of the river. They are the people who settled along the banks of Itawis have been variously called as Itawis, Itawit, Itawi, Itawi, Itabis, and Itawi. The Itawis is also called as the people from across the river. In many towns, the Itawis live with the Ibanag and Ibar has become the standard language. Of the last is the Elkanos. The Elkanos make up the third largest ethno-linguistic group in the Philippines and it is the most prominent ethnic group in the Philippines. Ilocano or Iloco is a Western Austronesian language spoken in Northern Luzon. In various parts of the Philippines and around the world, it comprises its own branch in the Philippine Cordillera. Families. Those are the cultural groups of the Cagayan region. Again, those are the Iba, Ibatans, Ibanag, Itawi. How about the major industries of the Cagayan Valley? The, the main crops are rice, corn, and tobacco. Fishing is the most prevalent in the coast of the Cagayan. Isabela, Batanis, Magatdam in Isabela. And the region also produces livestock. The like cattle, hog, carabaos, and poultry. Uh, other livelihood of the region includes the rattan, furniture, making and other indigenous materials, and mainly for the export. And the last is the languages or the dialects spoken spoken from Cagayan Valley. So languages and dialects spoken in the region include the Tagalog, English. Ibata, Echbayatin, Ilocano, Ibanag, Itawis, Gatang, and Isinai. Those are the dialects that they have been used when they are talking with other people or someone who are from talking to a Filipino people they can use the different dialects like Tagalog and that's all the information about the Cagayan region. Region 2, which is the Cagayan Valley region. I hope everyone of you has insights about this topic. Thank you guys for listening.